Howard da Silva was a versatile American actor, director and musical performer on stage, film, television and radio. He was cast in dozens of productions on the New York stage, appeared in more than two dozen television programs, and acted in more than 50 feature films. Adept at both drama and musicals on the stage, he appeared in the original 1943 run of the Rodgers and Hammerstein musical Oklahoma, and also portrayed the prosecuting attorney in the 1957 stage production of Compulsion. Da Silva was nominated for a 1960 Tony Award as Best Featured Actor in a Musical for his work in Fiorello, a musical about New York City Mayor LaGuardia. In 1961, Da Silva directed Perlia Victorious by Ossie Davis. Many of his early feature films were of the noir genre and he often played the nemesis in the plot, such as two 1946 roles, that of Eddie Harwood in The Blue Dahlia, and the sadistic Captain Francis Thompson in Two Years Before the Mast. Da Silva's characterization of historic figures are among some of his most notable work. He was Lincoln's brawling friend Jack Armstrong in both play and film versions of Abe Lincoln in Illinois written by Robert Sherwood, Benjamin Franklin in the 1969-1972 stage musical 1776 and a reprisal of the role for the 1972 film version of the production, Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev. In the Missiles of October in 1974, William M. Boss, Tweed the American Parade, Stop Thief, Franklin D. Roosevelt in the Private Files of J. Edgar Hoover in 1977, and Louis B. Mayer in Mummy Dearest in 1981. His American television character work included the defense attorney representing the robot in 1965 The Outer Limits 1964 episode I, Robot, and District Attorney Anthony Cleese in For the People. His 1978 performance is Eddie in the Great Performances production of Erna. USO Girl garnered the actor a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Performance by a Supporting Actor in a Comedy or Drama Special. In the 1970s, Da Silva recorded 26 episodes for CBS Radio Mystery Theater. Early Life He was born Howard Silverblatt in Cleveland, Ohio, the son of Bertha and Benjamin Silverblatt, a dress cutter. His parents were both Yiddish-speaking Jews born in Russia. He had a job as a steel worker before beginning his acting career on the stage. He changed his surname to the Portuguese Da Silva, despite not having any relationship with Portugal or Brazil. Da Silva was a graduate of the Carnegie Institute of Technology, and learned the acting trade under the tutelage of Evila Galien. He joined the Civic Repertory Theatre in 1928. Career. Da Silva appeared in a number of Broadway musicals, including the role of Larry Foreman in the legendary first production of Mark Blitzstein's musical, The Cradle Will Rock. Later, he co-starred in the original 1943 stage production of Rodgers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma, playing the role of the psychopathic Judd Fry. He was the easy-going Ben Marino who opposed Tammany Hall in the Pulitzer-winning musical Fiorello. In 1969, Da Silva originated the role of Benjamin Franklin in the musical 1776. Four days before the show opened on Broadway, he suffered a minor heart attack but refused to seek medical assistance because he wanted to make sure critics saw his performance. After the four official critic performances were over, the cast left to go to the cast party and Da Silva went to the hospital and immediately took a leave of absence from the production. While Da Silva recuperated, his understudy, Rex Everhart, took over the role and performed on the cast recording. Da Silva was able to reprise his role in the 1972 film version and appeared on that soundtrack album. Da Silva did summer stock at the Pine Brook Country Club, located in the countryside of Nichols, Connecticut, with the group theatre formed by Harold Clerman, Cheryl Crawford and Lee Strasberg in the 1930s and early 1940s. Da Silva appeared in over 60 motion pictures. Some of his memorable roles include a leading mutineer in The Sea Wolf, 
playing Ray Millen's bartender in The Lost Weekend and the half-blind criminal Chikamore Kwanai Mobley in They Live By Night. He also released an album on Monitor Records of political songs and ballads entitled Politics and Poker. Da Silva returned to the stage. He was nominated for the 1960 Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Musical for his role as Ben Moreno in Fiorello. After being blacklisted, Da Silva and Nelson left Los Angeles for New York to perform in the world of Sholem Malikum. Da Silva was nominated for the British BAFTA Film Award for Best Foreign Actor for his performances, Dr. Swimford, in David and Lisa. He recorded linking narration for episodes of the British television program Doctor Who broadcast in the United States. Da Silva portrayed Soviet Premier Khrushchev in the 1974 television docudrama The Missiles of October. He won the Emmy Award for Outstanding Performance by a Supporting Actor in a Comedy or Drama Special for his role as Eddie in Werner. USO, Girl with Sissy Spacek, Da Silva's TV guest appearances, after the era in which blacklisting was strongest, include such programs as The Outer Limits, Ben Casey, The Man from Uncle, The Fugitive, Gentle Ben, Mannix, Love, American Style, Kung Fu, and Archie Bunker's Place. Da Silva also played President Franklin D. Roosevelt in The Private Files of J. Edgar Hoover, Hollywood mogul Louis B. Mayer in Mummy Dearest, and American statesman Benjamin Franklin in 1776, as well as a documentary depicting the life of Ben Franklin shown at Franklin's house in Philadelphia. He appeared in two different film adaptations of F. Scott Fitzgerald's 1925 novel, The Great Gatsby. In the 1949 production with Alan Ladd as Gatsby, Da Silva played garage owner George Wilson. In the 1974 film with Robert Redford, Da Silva was Meyer Wolfsheim, the flamboyant gambler with the interesting cufflinks. In his final appearance on screen, Da Silva played a New York photographer fascinated with the reclusive Greta Garbo in the 1984 film Garbo Talks, directed by Sidney Lumet. He also did voice acting in 26 episodes of the popular 1974-82 radio thriller series CBS Radio Mystery Theater. Blacklisting Da Silva became one of hundreds of artists blacklisted in the entertainment industry during the House Committee on Un-American Activities, investigation into alleged communist influence in the industry. Following his March 1951 testimony in which he repeatedly invoked his Fifth Amendment rights, his lead performance in the completed feature film Slaughter Trail was reshot with actor Brian Don Levy. Da Silva continued to find work on the New York stage, but did not work in feature films again until 1961 when he appeared in his BAFTA-nominated performance in David and Lisa. He was eventually cleared of any charges in 1960, but not before his career in television had also stalled, with no work between 1951 and 1959 when he appeared in the play of the week. The brief respite was followed by another television career void until his appearance in a 1963 episode of The Defenders. That was the beginning of the end of Da Silva's blacklist, and the show's producer Herb Brod compared Da Silva with William Shatner when he created the television series for the people, Personal Life and Death. Da Silva married actress Marjorie Nelson in 1949. Da Silva and Nelson divorced in 1960. Da Silva died of lymphoma, age 76, in Osning, New York. His second wife Nancy, as well as two sons and three daughters, survived him. Acting Credits